<laughs> Play some lo fi. You know, I find it really funny how so much of my content gets copyrighted copyright strike it's not like a serious strike but just like where it gets like demonetized and stuff but it's always like the most random videos especially ones that don't even have music in it i'm like monetize <laughs> copyright strike for what the ones with music i understand even though i use like lo-fi says you can use their music as long as you have it in the description um i think that's fine i i, I don't know enough about it Actually, mega scans. I wonder if there's any decent cracks. I feel like they'd be a bit over the top, won't they? Because I've got realistic scenes, so I feel like some surface cracks won't work very well. Or some decals, you'll see. Yeah, see, I just want some really standard cracks, and I don't really know how to draw them myself. Mm. Well, I think that's the last thing missing, really, when it comes to, like, decals and stuff. <laughs> Whoa, I'm fast. Okay. So that's a free. We actually have this leather tarp up here now, because that wasn't originally leather, but I liked how it looked. So I was like, oh, yeah, no, why not? So we need to do the roof. Oh, hey, Lab One, how's it going? I've not seen you here for probably three weeks, right? Um, because like obviously, oh whoa, oh what? Wait, oh I don't even need that. Hold on a minute. I don't need, right? Yeah, I don't need that. I don't need that. How do I get the roofs back? Where, where would I need to get? Is there an unhide button? Oh, whoa. That was scary. Oh, there you go. I need it. Yeah, my fatigue has gotten much worse, but this weekend is mandatory game jam, so I kind of had to stay up to work. Ah, right. Okay. So. 
what is the oh wait now they float or well, maybe i should have kept that now do i do this with a texture or do i do this physically i don't want to make a texture for it <laughs> the allies uh substance Allies roof. Oh man. Hmm. I'm too lazy to make it. I do need to. I will see. The problem is, is this overhang. This one doesn't because it's got a thick edge to it. But this one does. So having it a physical mesh isn't the worst idea. But I just need to get it textured, really. I mean, I wonder. This is going to be the cheekiest way and quickest way to do it. I wonder if I could just unwrap those and put some basic edges and ambient occlusion on it. We'll do an automatic unwrap as well. We'll be real cheeky. Just completed Elden Ring. I don't think I just said that out loud. I said it in my head, I think, and then I didn't say it. Uh, fantastic game, honestly. That was such an experience. I wonder if we just do a smart UVs. Because I don't want to. I don't need it to. Whoa! I don't need it to be that detailed. See, theoretically, what I should do is just texture four of them and then duplicate it. Right? That's realistically what I should be doing. Why are some of them? What the heck? Um, so, like, just doing these four, texture those, and then have the rest as a duplicate of those. Uh, I obviously need to get that curve going, but it should still work pretty well. So we will do that. I'll do a duplicate, hide it, and I'll try to replicate if we invert selection and then delete the backs to them. Because then if I want them to be dark at the edges, I could technically use a vertex paint. How's productivity going, by the way, Letterborn? Obviously, now you've suffered quite heavily from fatigue and stuff, so you're not able to always get um, stuff done. Pro VP, do you feel like you've been improving recently? Because that's always where it is, right? Like, it's just determining if you've been improving. I was saying last stream, I don't necessarily feel like I improve a lot. What I feel like I do a lot of times, I learn a lot. And I think, for me, that's as good. Because I think in, uh, learning and improving are kind of the same thing, I was saying. Why is the FPS drop so rapidly? You see this? This is running slow, right? Like That looks like it's going like 20 FPS. Oh, wait, because we accidentally start playing. Wait, how do I... Oh, there you go. So how do I stop? I could say I could feel the FPS drop. Uh, so why is that? I got a really weird. Funny seems good. Oh, I just got sharper there. That is what's happening because that's that result. Twenty-five. Twenty-five is good. Cool. So now we want to unwrap these. We're doing, uh, I feel like, I just saw you wrote Psycho every day. Ooh, are they all like that? Oh, they are. Whoa, okay. So. So they're a messed up mesh, apparently. That's uh, good to know. Good to know. We do this, do this. Uh, yeah. I wrote that so wrong. 
Uh, there's days where I'm too tired to sit at the PC, but usually the biggest daily problem is going to school. That physically drives me very much. Yeah. Ugh. God, I freaking wasn't the best at going to school either. Well, I say school. I assume you mean university, right? Well, or college. Yeah, I mean... You know... I didn't... I, I love learning. I always have doing. I probably always will do. My issue isn't learning. My issue is education or academy uh, education. I just don't feel like a lot of places do it very well. Uh, what I should do here instead... Like, when I was in school, I just... My parents were like, oh, we're glad we uh, we took you to that school. I don't think I was... I don't think that school was very good at all. Yeah, there wasn't as much violence compared to my other school and stuff like that. And that's always a positive. But the problem with my school is... Like, it's like certain things. I remember when I... I was in... So there were seven sets. Yeah, that level, but it's not the same as going to university. It's more of a technical degree. Okay. Um... I should not know the difference, but I should there's a big difference. Um, yeah, I remember being in second set, and there were seven sets of English. So seventh set is the worst, so you're not very good at English. The first set is the best, so you're very, very good at English. I was second set, so I was considered relatively good at English. I can't remember why, but... I can't remember why I was good at English. No, I can't remember why this happened, but my teacher didn't like me. Uh, for very stupid reasons. I've never been a bad student. Ever. Uh, and my teacher did not like me. Now, I got moved from second set to fourth set. I went down two sets. Now, that was a big deal. I don't think I knew anyone in, um, in school who went down two sets. Now, because of this, I was basically... So, fourth set was surprisingly not very intelligent people in there um i was very surprised no i was never that intelligent of a kid anyway i'm still not intelligent now but they were not very smart except for now when it came to doing the exam i wanted to do uh the upper exam because the foundation exam which they were forcing everyone in that class to do was um It was, you could only get a C max, right? And I didn't want a C, you know. I wanted a, a B or an A. But you can only get a C max in, that, uh, in the foundation. So I asked them, can I do higher? And they refused. They said, no. I, a kid, I, I approached them outside class hours and I asked them, can I please do the higher exam? I don't think foundation is for me. I used to be in set two. I didn't add that part. Um, and they just declined. They said, no. We did it. I passed easily. I got a C. I'm pretty sure I got one of the highest C's in the class because it wasn't that hard. And we... I say highest C in the class. Only three people passed <laughs> and even got a C. I will add this. You don't need a C to pass technically. You can get a D. I think you can technically get an E as well. Only three people passed. That means only three people got a D or higher. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe it was C. But I'm pretty sure you could, it's technically a pass at least in England, uh, for that specific specific thing to get um, a D. So, because only three people in my class passed, I was told, oh, Steve, or the class, anyone who passed, you're not going to be doing English anymore. We was only like a f one third of the way through the year, or maybe halfway, and this is the last year of school. And he went, you're not going to do English anymore because we want to reteach these guys how to do the first exam. You're supposed to do two English exams. There's a literature exam, you do the first part of the year, and then there's a language exam. So language is more grammar and I assume spelling and stuff like that. I don't know, I never took the exam. And literature is poetry and stuff and learning about specific words like personification, meaning... Uh, so personification is using words to identify a object to be more of a, a person. Like, I don't know... My bottle was playfully jumping around in my hand. I mean, it can't be jumping around or even be playful because it's a bottle. So that's a personification. Something like that. And then metaphors and similes and stuff like that. 
the night sky was like a cat's eyes or the cat's eyes was like looking deep into the night sky simile or a metaphor the cat's eyes was well the cat's eyes was looking into the night sky so it's like it's physical like it is the night sky now i don't know why i'm explaining english i specify in literature i don't know why i'm, I'm specifying this anyway with these certain words but that was my literature exam and i still remember what we had to write to this day it was stuff like that I was told I wasn't allowed to do the second exam. I don't know anybody who went to my class today in university who doesn't have two, at least two C's in English. I have one. I only have one C as well in English. I'm so glad places don't ask for multiple C's in English and they only ask for one. They don't even question that you don't have a second one, luckily, because they wouldn't let me do it. I spent six months of the end of the year not doing English anymore because my teachers just said, nah, fam. <laughs> You're not allowed to do. You're not allowed to be a student anymore for six months. I was like, great, thanks, guys. It was crazy to me. Is I, I approached them and I'm like, guys, but I want to learn, and they just said no. What teacher does that? How can you decline a student who is willing to learn education? It is so. As a kid, it didn't bother me so much, but now that I'm an adult, that is so wrong. I wanted to learn. I wanted to continue my education, and they just said no. And that is crazy. That sounds horrible. Like, what's the point? Right? They could have just thrown me in, like, set three who did pass it. I go, here you go. Study language for the next um, six months. And then you could do the language exam. No, no, no. We're not teaching you anymore for six months. And it wouldn't let me go home either. It was, you have to stay in school for the hour you have English, which is, like, every day or every other day. But you're... You, you, wait, you have to stay school. Um, but you're not allowed to stay in class. So I had to just wander around the school or going to IT if it was free and just play around on the computers. I'll admit, I wasn't that, at the time, I wasn't too peeved off about it. Yeah, I was a bit annoyed, but I was like, oh, I get to spend an hour. It's like having an extra lunch break. Um, but still, I just thought that was disgusting attitude from the teachers. That's even dumber. There's so many situations I've had like that in a uh, school. Um, if we array this now, right? It's just, I don't know, man. I remember once being ridiculed by my teacher. This one, oh, you know what? <laughs> I low-key kind of want to go back to the school and have a go at him. Because this was not okay. So, especially, like, I was a very shy kid, right? Um, Much, like, I'm, a, I'm way, way more... Like, like I've said before, people don't seem to realise. I've put a lot of effort throughout my life becoming more and more social um because i wanted to be you know i wanted to be more social i wanted to not be that kid who was always scared to speak to anybody now my teacher i was doing my work almost like they don't want their students to be good right because that's the hard that's <laughs> because that's hard for a teacher yeah apparently um now this this one always got to be because this is so i was very good at maths and i'm still very good at maths um the highest level of maths i was interested in was circle theorems i wasn't even interested in uh tythagoras tythagoras trifagoras theorems and stuff like that so sine and tang and degrees um, of your triangle and stuff but i like circle theorems because i thought that was a really simple formula pi r squared is area um and then pi times the diameter is radius so area and radius I found that interesting, don't get me wrong. Right, so if we just do something like this. But, um, and then basic maths I've always been quite good at. So I was always in like the first set of maths. I think I ended the class with a B. But I also did statistics, which was like a tacked on, I guess, unit or class that I did for six months instead of maths. Because we were the top set, they were like, oh, we're going to not teach you maths for six months, instead teach you statistics. And we were smart enough that that didn't cause too much of a hassle. If they let me do maths for a whole year, I probably would have gone A. But because we had to do statistics, I was a bit iffy on some of the stuff. My teacher, so I, there was two ways you do statistics. And I can't remember a lot of it because I thought it was very boring. I think I got a C in it as well. But I must have been really good in the exam because my coursework sucked. We had a coursework. And we had to pick a study that was interesting. And I picked sales of games per console or something. 
Now, when you're doing those statistics, you're supposed to use, I believe, histograms and stuff like that. Uh, I didn't. I used the wrong method to do my statistics. My teacher, and I, ha I went to hand in my work early, and my teacher said, oh, this is wrong. I'll give you an extra week to basically rectify these mistakes and do the correct methods. And I was like, oh, okay. Two days later, or whatever it was, I come into the class, and my teacher is angry at me. And I was like, and again, I'm this shy student. I'm pretty sure I cried. Um, and he took me out of class and he just screamed at me. He just yelled at me, um, told me I hadn't handed him my work and all of this. And I was there, not just sad that I was being yelled at, but I was just mentally confused because he, he had already confronted me about my work or I confronted him. And he told me he'll give me an extra week past the two day handing that we were just about to do two days come and now he's screaming at me that i've not handed in the work that he told me i have an extra week to do or maybe he just had a bad day you shouldn't bring your bad day to work in front of students but maybe that was the reason and i just was mortified i i felt so bad i came into class with probably a red face with probably damp eyes from where i'd cleared up the tears I i'm pretty sure i cried um and i, I just didn't get it I, like, <laughs> I had done nothing wrong. Um, I remember once helping a, a kid was being bullied. This sounds so made up. Um, a kid was being bullied in my... I was like... Oh, I hate these unjust situations so much. I didn't get it. I, like I said, I've, I've never been someone who hates learning. I've always liked learning. As long as a teacher gives me the chance to learn and doesn't freaking scream at me um because i handed in work late when i didn't actually hand it in late because he gave me more time whatever Have I got rotated? I, like i said i kind of would like to go back and confront him about that and tell him off <laughs> if he still works there because that is a memory i i know people would maybe call that trauma and maybe it technically does count as trauma but that is a memory now that will always be with me and how upset i got in that situation um, anyways, yeah, I, another situation. This is a really messed up one. So I was one of the last year students in this school. So whether or not you're a big, you're a big lad. I, I was, I was always be like, I'm short, but I'm like a, I'm a big lad. Um, people have never been friend by me physically, but when it's someone a couple of years younger than you in this school, I think it was what up to the age 10. So like a seven and 10 year old, that's a big, big difference. Or maybe 10 to 12. Uh, between a 10 to 13 year old that's a significant difference because you grow a lot in that time i remember this kid being bullied so they were like throwing his pencil case around or something and i took the pencil case off them and gave it back to the kid now i don't remember anything else happening between me and these bullies all i remember is a teacher yelling at me and telling me sending me to the principal and then i had to spend that lunch time with the principal because I'd been a bad boy. I don't know what this teacher thought they saw, whether they thought I was bullying somebody, but I had just prevented a bullying situation. I like to say, this sounds so fake, like this didn't happen. This this happened. Oh, sorry. This 100% happened. I had prevented this bullying situation. This kid, this young kid, he was probably younger than they were, but I was older than them. Like I said, age is a big deal and that's in that sort of era in the school because being a couple of years older makes you just a big brawly person. Maybe it's because I was older. They thought I was the one bullying or something. I had, it, it was so fast. I stopped the bullying. I just grabbed the pencil. I think I grabbed out the air and gave it back to the kid who they were um, bullying. And then I was sent to the principal and I had to spend lunch with the principal because I was I, I was apparently doing something wrong. I had apparently started a, conf started a conflict or something. I was just like... I remember eating my dinner with the, um, with the headmaster like... He barely spoke to me. I think he probably didn't even realise that why I was there. He probably was just told, oh, he's been naughty and he's spent lunch with you. Um, but I was just like, what? Uh, believe it or not, despite... I, I had it I had it worse than both ways because people would call me a teacher's pet and stuff. Um, I wasn't a big fan of school. And I wasn't a big fan of a lot of the teachers. So I had the unlucky nature of being told I was a teacher's pet, being told I was this nerd, despite not even liking school. So I had it. I had the worst of both. I was I wasn't necessarily bully bullied. I, like I wasn't like physically bullied or anything, but I was called a nerd and stuff. And I find that so interesting because I couldn't have been any less 
than a nerd. <laughs> Yeah, I liked playing on the computers. Or a teacher's pet, shall I say. Um, yeah, I liked playing on computers and stuff. But to be essentially verbally bullied for apparently being a teacher's pet when I didn't get along with most of the teachers was just so bizarre. I was like, great, I'm getting bullied and I don't even get the benefit of actually being a teacher's pet and, and the teacher's liking me. Basically, nobody liked me. It's not quite true. I had friends, but... That's that global teacher mentality that they have that always know everything. And yeah, oh, you know what? I remember that. My teacher actually admitted her fault about this. This sounds like I'm bragging. It, it's, it's a small brag. So, school isn't made for people who love learning, lol. My situation was similar. Yeah, pretty much. Um, oh, wait, I lost the train of thought. Oh, yeah. So, I remember uh, this wasn't a big situation, but it was just really funny. So, we were reading a book. And we had some pictures of the book before reading it. And I don't think my, my teacher clearly hadn't read the book because of what I'm about to say. So there was a picture of someone crying and hugging another person who was also, it was like a, I'm pretty sure it was like a, an older looking woman and a young looking woman, maybe like a 16 year old and a 30 year old or something like that. I can't fully remember the mental image now. And they were crying and i'm pretty sure it was raining and this was an image and the teacher was like okay what's happening in this picture and raise her hands and people were like oh it's uh you know they're sad they're departing they're leaving each other and all this all that and people were that people basically answered that same question like five times gave that same answer like five times in like slightly different situations and i, I put my hand on the teacher asked me i was like no that's not what it looks like to me um to me, it looks like they are being reunited. Those are not tears of despair. Those are tears of joy. I probably didn't use the, the word despair. But I'm not tears of being sad. Tears of being happy. And my teacher... Now, this is not what she said. But she basically said, in her own way, No, it's not, you idiot. <laughs> um, and I remember being like, Oh, it looks like that to me. I mean, we were supposed to be interpreting it. My answer's not wrong, even if it was wrong in the context of the book. I was right. We read the book for the rest of the year, and I, my teacher gave me a little reward in front of the, because uh, we used to get like a reward weekly or something, like someone in the class would get like a small reward that you present in assembly. Teacher gave me a reward, and pretty much what it said on it was, <laughs> like, reward for proving me wrong, because she was wrong, and she basically low-key insulted me when I gave my answer, <laughs> even though it was right. So I have to admit, that was really nice. That she actually realized oh i was wrong and she even gave me a little reward for it to show like oh you know just because someone says you're wrong doesn't mean you are wrong and she knew she shouldn't have done that and that was cool sounds amazing that she would remember that. yeah that's too. yeah the fact that she remembered it she's like oh you know i told him he was wrong and he wasn't um it was really cool really cool of her she didn't have to do that she didn't have to be chill about it she could have went oh well, I was wrong, but I'm not going to say anything, you know. Uh, no, she, she was chill. She admitted um, that I was... <laughs> like I said, it sounds like I'm gloating. She admitted I was right um, in the nicest way, and she even rewarded me for it, and that was super nice. What other events happen in school? Oh, wait, I got a... Right, I have to copy it to two at a time because of that. Right, right. I can shift them afterwards, but... I mean... There are good and bad times that have happened in school. You know, I could sit here and say it's all been bad, but there have been some good. It's just the good times definitely didn't feel as frequent as the bad. How did I just... What? What happened? Why did it? I'm so confused. Anyways, um, yeah, yeah, that, that was a good time. She was a nice teacher as well, um, Miss Weston. If you're still at that teaching, she was pretty old when I was uh, there. I hope she's still okay. But you're a very nice teacher, and you helped me keep my joy for learning. There are gaps in it, but I don't think that'll matter too much. 
So now that we've got just this part, I'm hoping... Oh, see, the problem is... It'll get a dark patch here, but it means the end will have a dark patch. We'll see what it looks like. I'm trying to think of some other events that happen in school now. Hmm. I remember my first day, a basketball rolled towards me and I was holding some books. And I picked the basketball up with one hand and I... And they were like, pass it back, and I threw it right into the hoop. I'm okay at basketball. I enjoy playing basketball. I didn't expect that to go in, and I remember feeling. And then I just walked off, and I remember being like, "Yeah." <laughs> I was like, "Hell yeah, boy!" <laughs> Maybe the end world have a dark. And would have a dark patch because of the gap. Maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll see how it works with the uh, with in Adobe first. It might be fine. And I want to remember more stories now. Oh, I remember. Here you go, this one. This is this isn't really a big story. Have I got anime? Here you go. So I remember. Um, I was in, so I was in my English class. I believe I was in the English class, but I wasn't actually learning English. This is when they'd already told me I, I wasn't supposed to be doing English anymore. But I particularly remember being there for some reason. Anyways, I get the head of, oh, I don't know if anime actually has the option, but this this was like Adobe, uh, the Adobe Flash MX or just Flash MX. And um, I had the head of IT come into my class see I kind of want it up here this is where it used to be in uh, old flash there you go perfect oh my god I don't want to zoom out in this there you go um, now I don't know what they were doing yeah, like whatever um, but is it still there yeah so what does that do Oh, right, it just turns into a mask layer. So if I have this, I say mask. Or this. I can't remember how mask layers work. Anyways, so we're in class and a, t a teacher comes up. No one's or whatever. Is Stephen in here? Yeah. I was like, yeah, hello. He went, can we can we use you? Like, we need your help. That kind of looks like my signature. Um, it's like, can we use your help? And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's okay. And I go go to the uh, IT labs, which isn't too far away because the English was actually in the same building as the IT. I go in and the teacher goes, start my next project. Nice. It, it's going to be sci-fi, right? Was it, I'm pretty sure it was you that said that you were going to do a sci-fi one. And yeah, my teacher drags me in. I said, like, it's a bad thing. I, I was fine going with him. And he's like, okay, how do we... Like he wants to make this layer a mask. How do we do that? I never. I I I, I love sub uh, substance. I love um uh, flash MX slash animate slash whatever you want to call it. I had never masked a layer in my life. Not even in Photoshop. I don't even think we had Photoshop. And I was I, he had something drawn. I can't even remember what it was. And I just I put my hand on the mouse, and I was like. You want to mask the layer? Yeah, and I was like, uh... Well, that's technically doing the opposite, but I like, click. And he went, oh, thank you so much. And I was just like, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, my God. I was just guessing. I'll put you guys over here so it looks like I'm looking at you. Gonna do that after this one. Gonna do some foliage study. Nice. But yeah, I just thought that was really funny because like I had no idea what I was doing and I had resolved their issue without knowing what I was doing. Uh, <laughs> it's good times, man. But yeah, it's a big misconception that hate hating school means hating learning. My parents hate both. My parents hate school and they hate learning. They hate academic studies. Oh my god. 
they hate academic studies and they actually hate learning i say that because they don't tend to try to learn anything um i mean it's up to them i'm not saying they have to but you can be someone who hates academics and hates school but loves learning and i feel like i'm one of those people i actually really like learning but it has to be something i'm actually passionate for and not something random and something that's actually taught by someone who wants to teach it and not by someone who's just reading out of a book that's a very googleable thing though yeah that's fine right yeah that's fine so if we do a bake, I'm really curious what this will look like because it's, it's taking the texture from just these. Ooh, okay, so the problem is I've... I uh, see that as well. Uh, I think it actually... Yeah, it, it should clip into there so it doesn't make a difference at the top. So why they're pretty spaced evenly, aren't they? So if they're spaced evenly, why are we getting the shadow coming so far down? Which one's the most aligned with that shadow? Because then we'll be able to identify which one. Oh, is it because of this? It's because of this. Look how much of a gap there is. Right, okay. So let's come back into Blender. Oh. Oh, I can't bother banning that bot at the moment. <laughs> I'm tired of banning bots. So we should technically make it overlap the amount that is there. So about here. And similarly here. Now that's going to be hanging off the edge quite significantly now. But that should still be fine. Oh. I forgot that there would need to be a bottom. Hmm. I mean, I could always just two-side it and say, hopefully nobody really looks up there. I might actually do that. <laughs> um, FBX, roof tiling. <laughs> so now that I've placed it so it has a more average space out, we should... I hate school because I'm neuro... Neurodivergent. Neurodivergent. Expect me to know what that means. <laughs> neuro... Neurodivergent. Neurodivergent or ND. Reverse the var variation in the human brain regarding sociability, learning, attention, mood, and other mental functions in non pathological sense it was coined in 1998 by sociologist judy singer i don't know who it was coined by okay and then you've got neurotypical which is someone who basic so so neurodivergent just means you're basically someone who doesn't think the same way under the normal means that someone else does versus neurotypical which is that kind of like your standard thought patterned person oh okay uh route one that sounds like a good idea speed tree let's say speed tree yeah speed tree is one i need to download okay so that one's definitely better we don't we have like a tiny bit overlaying of shades I'm not quite sure what's happening here what well, is no shade here yeah, you shouldn't see it here because that all intersects with walls up to here. So that should be fine. Now let's go stylized. So this is a cheap way of doing this. I didn't want to do anything special. Let's try uh, just this quick. Metal shingles. That kind of looks cool. I'm not against the metal shingles. That looks very nice. You can see the repetition as it gets to the edge here. I'm not sure what it is. It's like a lighter... Yeah, look, there's like shadow here, but not shadow here. Uh, so, technically, I could probably draw in a shadow myself. Let's try some other stylized like skin. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. 
So I think we'll go with the metal. We probably won't actually keep it metal. What I'll do is I'll just come into all of these. Tom's not even doing anything about this, it. What about you? You're doing Sykes, turn you down. Uh, it refers to stuff like autism, ADHD, high sensitivity, or something else I don't remember. Ow. Oh. See, I always found it really odd when it came to stuff like OCD and ADD and ADHD. Not like. Because I've always. Maybe ADD or ADHD. I've got to make sure I'm talking about the right one here. Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, ADD is viewed as an outdated term. That I simply described the condition. What was originally described as ADD is now. Oh, okay. So do you, are you supposed to use the term ADHD? I thought they were two different things. So, from what I'm aware, the most simple way to look at ADHD is someone who is mentally hyperactive and can't, uh, has a very short attention span. Uh, it, it's technically not the same thing, but it's I believe that's what it's sort of characterized, right? Oh, reverse stuff like, oh, oh wait, there you go. One is without hyperactivity. Okay, so what's different? What's what's hyperactivity? One is without the edge. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I know it's so much more than that. But, like... If you saw someone who was short attention span and mentally, I think it's technically physically as well, hyperactive, um, it's it would be easier to determine that they are someone with ADHD. Now, I've never been sort of physically, maybe maybe actually, because I move my hands a lot and I can't keep still, but I'm not like whoa up and about ADHD. But I've always felt like I've uh, I've always been someone who has like a. Oh, I've always had a. Uh, I can have a very short attention span. It really depends on what I'm doing. Um, but I wonder if anything, the way I act is any of these things. I don't even know what this was doing. Oh, is there? Okay, I didn't know that. I remember um, speaking to a bunch of, um, what were they, psychology, psychology, psychology students, and um, they asked me a bunch of questions about my, um, basically, there you go, so like this. So we'll see the repetition here. Uh, basically, they asked me a bunch of questions to do with my stress and stuff and how I react to certain situations. And I basically told them, like, they gave me this little test and it was like, what stresses you out? And it was a scale of one to ten on each question, or zero, maybe zero to ten. Um, of like, it was very university based. It was stuff like, oh, having a due date for your work, and having this, having that, and having this, and having that, and blah, 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 blah. And I put zero for almost all of them. I'm not a very stressed out person. Things annoy me, but I don't particularly get stressed. I think the only time I really get stressed about anything is probably speaking to my boss, which my boss at the moment definitely not but when i was in a work a, a workplace like a, a supermarket or a warehouse yeah both are part of the uh, due to the brain processing sensors and everything differently okay that's pretty interesting actually 
Um, and they are based with zero to everything. Like work being doing, having to go to class to be. And I put zero. And one of the ones, there was a very common theme towards most of the question about work being due in and stuff like that, or work that needs to be done. And they asked me, they was like, why did you put like zero for everything? I was like, well, because these things just don't stress me out. And they haven't, they never will. And they, it's like when I have a deadline with my boss, it doesn't stress me out. Um, and why? Like, how are you, how is this not stress you? And I went, and I said to them, I was like, well, I like, don't see the point of getting stressed out about it. I know not everyone can do this. I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not preaching right now. I'm not saying people should do this. But what I said was being stressed out doesn't help me at all. Being stressed means that I'm probably going to get less work done and it's just going to be more of a hassle. But if I'm not stressed, I'm just going to get more stuff done and it's just going to be, it's just going to be better. And I remember the first response going, you're not supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I remember saying to my teacher, because he was like, are you guys stressed about uh, getting your work in and stuff like that? This is such a funny comment that he made. This was so random. And, um, I went, no, nah, no, nah, not really. And he was like, oh, why is that? And I went, ah, because I know, like, future Steve is going to get it done. And then he went, future Steve. Sound like a superhero. I could imagine you in spandex. And I was just like, excuse me? <laughs> it's such a funny comment. I could imagine you in spandex. What a, what an absolute trooper. Thinking about that still cracks you up to this day. Like, I, I want to know what was going through his mind for him to go, yeah, I could say that to a student. <laughs> that won't be bad. <laughs> oh, man. It's hilarious. So why does, is it because it, oh, it's because it's coming up the side. Well, no, because these come up the side. There's definitely a difference. Like, boom, boom. But when I take out the shadows... Oh, it's the ambient, right. Okay, I don't think you'll probably notice very much anyway. Have you tried taking your glasses off? Maybe future steel will match. <laughs> but I used to literally send emails to myself. I used to literally write it like I was writing to a person. And I'd be like... I'll send some work attached to it say, hey, we need to get this done by Friday. Um, and just and then attach the file and then send it to me myself. That way, when I looked at it at home, I read it like I was receiving a personal email and I had to do some work. And that helped me. I, I don't know. It just helped me do the work. I just sound like a crazy person. But no, it, it did. It, it helped me get the work done. Yes, the ambient map. I mean, I definitely need it. But... So I also want to try one thing. I want to go one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard to try. Something like this, and we want just a big blur. Oh wait, no, because that's top and bottom. Hmm. Okay. What about add generator? No, black mask it first. Add generator. I notice it a lot though. I'll just read it just in case I miss anything. Okay. I just, I don't know. I like to think I'm a relatively logical thinking person. Ah, oh, that's going to be that, isn't it? And I think because of that, I definitely have different responses to certain things. Overlay up here. It's a cool effect. We'll do that. I'm still annoyed at this. The ambient occlusion is really making it look weird. But again, if I take it out, we get a really weird effect. Hmm. 
see how that looks in engine. I ain't got any more left. I'm trying to think of other stories now. I'd like to see more stories for school. I've got any cool university students. I went that you students. Uh stories. I went down in the elevator in a chair once, that was funny. I don't think there was anything significant. I do remember this guy. I won't say his name, we'll call him Jeremy. Now Jeremy was a very strange person I barely met before. And I remember we were sitting at a table and he was eating with me for some reason. Oh, actually, I actually have two stories here. And Jeremy was, he was sitting there and he was telling me these weird stories about him. And one of them, I, I distinctly remember it because he was like, yeah, you know, I was, I was at, I was at the pub and uh, my ex was there. She knew I was going to be there. Um, uh, he was basically trying to make out like she, she was only there to make you feel bad on his birthday. And then, you know, I say, I think it's like about picking up a chick, but he was like, he went, I nudged my friend and I was like, you see that bird over there? I'm going to bang her. I think he said, I'm going to, I'm going to bang her. And he took like a bite of his sandwich and I went, and then I did. And I was sitting there looking at him like, <laughs> what, a, what a random story. Like, <laughs> like did, you think I'm going to go, whoa. <laughs> I was so confused. And another one that was really funny. So I have a darker complexion than most people. To be fair, this, throughout the years, probably because I'll be sitting at a computer and not going outside very much, my skin colour has definitely gone a little bit more paler. But does it really show up in here? Not really. It looks very pink because of the reflection. I have, like, slightly yellower skin. And I'm pretty sure it's because I was born with yellow jaundice, which kind of made my skin a bit more, um, a bit more tan. Oh, I jumped in at the right time. Buds and bird stories. No, no, I was just making fun of somebody. Uh... <laughs> And um, I'm talking about university, and this guy I'll call him Tim. Oh, I knew someone called Tim. It wasn't it wasn't that guy, but we'll call him Tim. Tim was sitting there, and we were it was like five of us there, four of us there. It was me, Tim, and two of my good friends. Don't talk to any of them anymore, unfortunately. I sometimes talk to one of them, but the other one didn't go on social media very much after university. It was kind of that was it. Um, <laughs> And the way that we were positioned, I remember Tim being able to stare at me, but the person over here, maybe it was a square table, he couldn't see them. Like, they could do actions and he couldn't see them. And we were just eating, not talking or anything. And Tim looked up, and he, he looked at me, like, stared at me for a couple of seconds, and then he went, Why are you brown? <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't even hesitate. I literally went, Oh, I was born with yellow jaundice, and I believe um, that was probably why my skin is a bit more yellow, a bit more darker than the average person. But what my friend, the one I still sometimes talk to, was sitting... Oh, no, 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 no. The one I don't talk to anymore was sitting there, and he was just like... Because like, he, he couldn't see him, and he was just like... like I guess, how can you ask someone that? That is such a bizarre question to ask somebody out of the blue. Um... Yeah, that was very funny. <laughs> what am I doing? I've lost, I've lost a trade of thoughts about stories. Um, I still bring that story up today. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, I don't speak to the people who were actually at that table when um, he said it, but it's still a funny story. That person was very socially awkward to begin with. Like, so, like, I get that people are socially awkward. Like I said, when I was younger, I was very socially awkward. But there's, there's like, two types of socially awkward. There's socially awkward, you don't speak to people and you keep to yourself. And then there's socially awkward where you just speak and say things that you shouldn't be saying. You know what I mean? This music really quiet. Like... I don't really know how I describe it. Like, there's some people who just say stuff, and I assume it's because they're awkward and they want to try to spark a conversation, but they just do not say the right things. I remember one person... God. I'm socially comfortable. Uh, I remember... Oh, well, not saying anything. You're just comfortable. Um, I remember one person... We were walking home from university, and he was a very interesting man. I won't... Again, I won't try to say anybody's name. I'll call him... I'll call him... Joe. 
Now, Joe was a very, very awkward person, and he was a very, it was very clear he wanted a partner, but he wasn't socially inept enough to basically ask anyone out or, or even woo, as you'd say an old term, woo somebody. Now, <laughs> we had this friend, and she was one of the nicest people I know. She was awesome, and she was a lesbian, and she, I don't think she was, I don't think her partner lived there. I don't think so. But we all knew this. The story doesn't go much further than this, to be fair. Uh, it's not a big story. But I remember walking home and she like broke off because she was going to where she lived. And I, I remember him saying something like, basically he was going to get with her. And then we were like, bro, like she's she's not straight. And he, and he was just, he, he, the confidence in his eyes, he was like, I'm going to change that. And I was just like, what? Uh, I'm like that too, but I'm pretty sure I know what's rude, but there are just things like, see, I'm that second one, but I do it sarcastically. Like, yeah, I would say really inappropriate things randomly, but maybe not against people I don't barely know. I probably have to be friends with them a little bit first. But I'll say random stuff, like ask my friends the most inappropriate questions at the most random times, because I think it's hilarious. That is gross. You're correct, Letterborn. It was just... I think what made it better was we knew... We'd, no one really liked him very much. Bless him. I, I don't really think it was his fault too much. He was just... Yeah, he just was a bit bit of a creepy man and um and he just wasn't that he used to no, he didn't used to bully me i'm not gonna use that term but he used to try to use me as an example to make himself feel more popular if you wanted to make fun of somebody even though i barely knew him he'd make fun of me um because he thought that was a way for him to be more prominent in the group he wanted to be more the alpha he was not even he wasn't even a charlie uh, <laughs> uh he was he was so beta in the group no one wanted him even around and um I'm not talking about alpha beta as if we were like jocks. I'm just saying like, you know, like you've got the the group leader kind of person. Like if one person goes, oh, we're going out to the pub, eight people would join them. You know what I mean? Um, and then you've got like the levels below that, like the social construct between you and your friends. He was, he was below the lowest tier, this guy. But yeah, it was the fact that we knew he couldn't get a girl ever because he was just a, it just was the worst. But like no one would want to date this man. And it, it was the confidence in his eyes. I'm gonna change that and I was it was just so funny like I remember going home and cracking up <laughs> there's two types of creepy men in the context of women the ones that actually assault you and then the ones that are just joking but how to tell them apart well like I mean yeah of course there's the first part but it's like joking about it I, I'm not really the most I, I say rude jokes but it's never like um there's a, there's a, saying a rude joke that is specifically saying a joke because of somebody that's a woman um my i just say sort of generic funny stuff you know like uh, shows your mom you know <laughs> really stupid like intentionally childish jokes i get the social awkwardness you're sick sick can i can i grab a few of those inches that sounds very rude but you know what i mean uh i'm 5a i was told the other day i was 5 11 and i was like no 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 <laughs> because <laughs> this guy who's my height was like i'm 5'10 and i'm slightly taller than him and he was like you must be 5'11 and i was like i am not 5'11 i am 5'8 i'm two inches shorter than the average height um let me read the rest of what you're saying and throw a big smile when i enter some room immediately drawing attention for some reason but then got nothing to say haha <laughs> my oh <laughs> right big charlie energy i guess but yeah like People are so strange. I think people are so interesting in general. I've always said this. I think people are really, really interesting. Like, but there's a big difference for the, the way I perceive people and, and how uh, a lot of my friends used to. And one of the ones that used to bother me a lot, this used to really bother me, was... I already got the name of it nice. Um, environment. Props. It's not a prop. It's a level prop. Well, technically, if I... Oh, it is placed around a center point. It's not a level prop, technically. Oh, no, it's not placed around a center point. If I import it around a center point, I could have it as a normal prop because you could place this on rooms if you were to download my... If I made this a pack, you know what I mean? I might not even do that, but... 
it's good practice if I want to make packs in the future. Uh, Excuse me. Um, yeah, one of the ones that used to always get me was when people would say, oh, he's probably got autism, or he's probably got this, or he's probably got something wrong with him. I don't do that. You know, unless, unless someone... I don't mean it in a negative way, but unless someone is very obviously has uh, certain conditions wrong with them, I would never think that. I remember with that guy, the creepy bloke I just said, they were like, oh, there's probably something wrong with him mentally. And um, I remember my friend Jason, who was very hyperactive. Um, oh, there's probably something wrong with him. And I remember this other person. And I think a very good example, actually, was when Lee, my friend, oh, that's her name. I shouldn't have said her name. Um, we'll call her Haley. Uh, <laughs> my friend Haley was talking about um, her relative. And she was saying about these stories when she did stupid things. And one of them, I can't remember the previous ones because there were sometimes things she was just saying in the background of me doing something else. She was in like a group call on Skype. And I remember her saying that this person licked a snail. I would pick him up and lick them. And that didn't, that strikes me as odd, but that's, she was saying she was a child. Um, so it didn't strike me as too odd. Children do very strange things. Uh, um, children do very strange things. If you, my brother, I would, I would have totally expected one of my brother. I have four brothers. I would have totally, if some, yeah, if someone said to me that they did that, like my parents said, I would have been like, oh wow, um, and I wouldn't have thought anything of it. And then I remember after she said that story, someone was like said about her autism, and I said what I said, I didn't mean in an offensive way. And luckily, it wasn't taken. They sort of laughed about it. Um, I said, oh wait, she's autistic. I just thought she was being stupid. And obviously, taken the wrong way, that could come off very poorly. But I, I, I just don't assume people have things wrong with them. I just assume we, we all do stupid things sometimes. We all have very strange things that happen to us. But I'm never going to assume because of those things, you've got like a freaking mental changing um, disorder wrong with you. I, and I find it very odd that that's accepted now. It's, it's apparently people think it's completely appropriate to assume something's mentally wrong with somebody, and apparently that's nicer than just assuming they might be a bit, you know, a bit slow on the uptake and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I just it's so bizarre to me. Am I the only one in this? Do you guys think I'm being weird for not wanting to assume things are wrong with people? Maybe this is just something I'm I'm a bit weird because I'm not the perf I'm not a perfect example of the normal person, you know. Um like center point? Oh right, it's coming from here. Uh there it is. That's not gonna work, is it? Oh no it will. So you want that relatively center. Is that the center right there? Looks roughly the center. We unhide it now. So when you guys all leave the chat now, like, oh, Steve's terrible. Have a go at me. Tell me I'm the worst. That's good. So I want to be able to import it as a normal mesh. Uh, to do that, we want to go what we've got it set to. Got to times it by 50 as always. I like it when people assume I'm... You like it when people assume you're autistic because I'm on the spectrum and I like that part of myself. But not when people see it as something bad or problematic. It's a good thing. It's just dot dot dot. Or is that dot 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 as in you're going to explain more or... <laughs> yeah, I, I get that. I don't know, I just, I just don't like to assume things like that. Uh, oh, you are right, Maud, that the world isn't made for us. If it were successful, there wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. See, I get the concept of, uh, like, assuming someone has that and they do, it is like a good way that you're acknowledging them. I find it very odd that we live in a time where people even bother about little personal defects. Yeah, true. As if people can't be included if you aren't aware of them first. Yeah. Like I've said to people, if I I get along with a lot of people. I've always been a very mingly person, at least since university. 
um i just think people are fascinating and i like speaking to different personalities because i like hearing different perspectives and the way people tick interests me um where was i saying this was transport but yeah i would never like if if you are just an annoying person and you're not pleasant to be around it's just not gonna hang around you and i don't think that's a bad thing um because there would be people who do like that type of thing who do like those per that person's little quirks i'm not saying that those quirks are things wrong with them just in general like like that creepy boy i just was about someone might think that actually is amazing want to hang out with him um but I'm, I'm not i remember being not ridiculed but saying i was wrong because i didn't want to hang around with somebody that i didn't enjoy being around and it was this creepy man because this creepy person used to like i said he used to make fun of me a lot and it was a way for him to try to feel like he's more of an alpha of the group uh, and it was specifically me all the time because i'm usually out in public i'm a much more easygoing person i don't think i'm not that easygoing when i'm like on stream and stuff but if someone makes fun of me i'm not going to pull them up on it but like what is wrong with you you know i'll just sit there and go well you know all right then um <laughs> I'll just sort of take it because I don't want to cause an issue amongst a group of friends just because one person is making fun of me. Um, so I didn't like hanging around with him. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I, I remember my friend actually defending me when um, my friend was like, what's wrong with you, should Shouldn't I want to hang around with someone because of that? And I was like, no, he didn't realize he bullied me. I just said I didn't like hanging around with him. And then he was like, no, yeah, uh, <clears throat> no james my friend was like no james he literally makes fun of steve all the time and he was like james the only reason you like him coming out of us is because he buys you free beers and yeah since then we didn't really hang around with the um person i didn't like uh yeah but i agree with you you shouldn't armchair diagnose someone it's a private thing no matter oh i'm glad I'm glad, like, I have some people on my side about this. Because people find it very strange that I don't want to do that to people. Do I have to get into fights with my mother because she thinks I'm exhausting? But other people don't mind. You just hang around the people you feel... Yeah, exactly. If people don't like hanging around with me, I don't expect them to want to hang around with me. You know? Uh, <laughs> like, I'm not going to bother someone if I know they don't enjoy my company. We all enjoy different people's company. If uh, so, that's a blank one anyway. If I know people don't like me around, I just won't hang around with them. I don't think they're being a bad person. I just think they have a preference, and I don't fall under that category. Oh, that's not the correct one. We've got no normals, that color, that. See, does the repetition annoy me? You can see. First off, maybe we should take that off. Um, if I take this off, what kind of result do we get in engine? Because there will be a generated AO for it in engine, obviously. I could hand paint the uh, shade on that I want because we only have to we don't have to do a lot we just have to literally paint oh we've already got some here I wouldn't think more people would agree with you I would think more people would agree with you god does it <laughs> maybe you're right in the overall but the people I seem to hang around with do not well at least I used to hang around with I don't have many <laughs> I don't have many friends these days um a lot of people i can only really hang around people in real life in real life on the pc so the people i used to hang around with in real life are very hard to get hold of uh for my entertainment um i can watch you freely nice Mohammed. Uh, i mean we're talking about random stories and stuff uh, this is very interesting today i mean in a way a lot of people have their thoughts about others but that doesn't necessarily mean you should share them yeah yeah I, I also think sometimes you're not people people aren't always being insulting when they say something it's not so black and white if you say like oh is your friend like if you say in private 
Or was your friend like, uh, insert random thing here? That's not always them being disrespectful. They just, in fact, sometimes it's because they want to be respectful. They want to identify if there are some, uh, something, not necessarily wrong with you, but one of your character traits. Character traits, like you're a video game character. Um, and that's fine. It's not always, it's not, it's just not so black and white. You don't have to assume that's some huge insult. You know what I mean? I actually want to change that to that. I want to um, make it a blue. I think in general, people are nicer than we give them credit for. I think people aren't trying to like fight each other and all this. I think we do. I think there is effort we put in to be nice to one another. I'd like to think that anyway. Um, but equally, that doesn't mean that there aren't just bad people in the world. As much as I want to believe everyone has good in them, there are some people who are just not nice people. born nice and cute i beg to differ if you've met some of the babies i've met Whew. i sound like i was talking about the cute part of saying they're ugly i, I meant the other way around but that's also quite funny saying it that way i mean there's some nasty babies i've met <laughs> See, I don't... Do I want to turn this down? Maybe I want to do a duplicate of this. And then we take it off... Here. So the edge gets darker. And then this one we have it above you. There you go. Oops. That way it stays just at the side over here. Look at that. And then we can make it more subtle. So let's see what kind of effects we get from that. Um, yes, for example, I was visiting my girlfriend in the hospital once and once. And one, sorry, of the professional helping was sitting in the room, which freaked me out. But before I came, she told them to treat me like an all oh, right and i actually helped a lot babies are very strange beings babies are very strange beings yeah yeah i, I like i get how there could be positives and negatives to obviously doing that oh i was like what is wrong here that's so one color i have to turn this off it's too shiny there you go now that was the old roof that's new. If we were to place that over there, have we made a good enough increase in quality that that was worth the effort? So obviously this is uh, going there, but there's that, that. On it. Thank you for the subscription, Rainbow Slinky Fight. Hope you're enjoying the stream. So the quality isn't significantly better. It actually kind of doesn't overlay here, but that's fine. Um, but it's not bad. That would have to be raised a tad like this. Oh, what I also want to do, actually. Oh, I shouldn't have... What I should do, if I haven't got it already set up. If we go, if we go vertex color... So 
So, in a way, you're more comfortable that you are being treated, that you that this person knew about any sort of potential problem that you have, and that way it could avoid, like, if you were to act out, it would be more understandable. Is that what kind of you're saying? See, I was just wrong around. saying anything uh, and he didn't make it weird so I think it was uh, about noticing I was very stressed and not putting social interaction on top. Okay. okay so if I do this what I want to do is basically paint on um, some of the vertex to make it look like ambient occlusion. So we go into here we go into mesh paint and I go to paint I gotcha but that would be the same thing that person prefers his or her person's face don't put the person on the spot uh, yeah yeah okay I see no difference am I blind red Uh, let's multiply it by z oh by seven point seven is what I meant to do but with that said I should have oh I haven't plugged it in <laughs> yeah yeah you don't want you don't want people to treat you differently but you want to you it can feel comfortable knowing that they're aware of um, any issue that you may have it's like You know, it's like, uh, this is a bit of a stretch, but this this is more of an, I guess, obvious example. It's like telling your friend, oh, by the way, let's say I was vegan. Uh, before introducing me to somebody, oh, by the way, Steve's vegan. Um, and he's like, oh, okay. So when I come into the situation, it means they might avoid topics like eating meat and stuff. Um, or making me feel uncomfortable by eating a huge beef burger in front of me. Like, it's, I guess it just helps with being more courteous, right? Now, I think I'm blind. Is this working or isn't it working? Oh, it is working. It's just such a small difference. 0.35. Obviously, what I'm saying, I don't mean to be like, oh, you know, your problem is just like being vegan. That's not what I'm saying at all. And you know, you know that, I hope. I'm just trying to make a more over-the-top example. Oh, you guys working better now. Wait, so is that is that what it's looking by default? Bill, I cannot tell. Bill, how many things is using that material? Yeah, everything's darker, right? So that needs to be swapped. Like this. I think at the end of the day, just be nice to everybody, man. Like, it it will always baffle me when people just treat other people negatively, especially for just the person that they are. You know? Like, it, it's so crazy to me that someone just go, oh, I'm going to treat you differently because you have this problem or something like that. That's so weird. Why is this not working now? I like to think I've never treated uh, someone differently, at least intentionally, ever. Why is this not? This isn't paying at all. It's because the strength's so low. Oh, I think it's because the strength. I did turn it down, obviously, but I thought that was going to have a bit more of an effect than we got. So what I want to do here is paint on like this. So it's a bit strong at the moment, but you get what I mean? So we get this like custom. Actually, what I should do is I fill it, invert it. 
Turn the brush up. Put up a bit more. Do something like this. I kind of went over the top, over, too far over on that side. Um, I should have kept the top still dark, actually. And that way we have this, like, uh, uh, we have this, like, custom looking. A well, we have, we have it looked like there's this additional AO, you know, in reality, we'll just manually painted it on. I could not get this top bit right though. Yeah, and it's too strong, obviously. So, uh, what I should do AO uh, custom AO strength. We'll turn it to 0.5 at the start, and I can adjust backwards and forward from there. Um, every single person I, uh, every single person has a comfort zone. Just find out what it is and respect it for everyone individually. Would you get that same result after a light bake, or is the part not? Uh, you'll get, you will get some AO and stuff after lights baked. I may get it, and it looks good. But this just means, because it's stylized, I can make this over the top ambience. Like, if you look at a lot of my objects, look at the texture work on them. They have, like, so that's from the bake, right? Oh, no, 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 that's from the mesh. They, ha they have, like, all of these, like, over the top ambient occlusions being made. Like, here, look at here. Uh, let me, well, I don't want to spin it. Let me open it up. Like, here, look. That's, like, really dark there. That's extra. Here, look. That's not due to bakes and stuff. I wanted it in, in between. I wanted it to be stronger because it's supposed to be over-exaggerated because it's stylized. So anywhere I can over-exaggerate ambience or ambient occlusion is going to be a positive. So we a custom AO now. I can make it darker. Or I can make it lighter. I can even make it go positive in color. Um, so now if we go one, I'll start to adjust that down. Probably 0.5 is good. Boom. We got this custom looking roof material. It's weird how it looks like it gets lighter towards here, which it can't. They're right here. Because it's all it's all texture from one corner. Gotcha, looks good. Thank you. I always look good. Right now, we need to replicate this. So I should still be able to use this um, on this side. I like how it's not central at all. I, I tried to make it central. I clearly failed. <laughs> Now we need to, oh, interesting. So I have to apply the array and I basically have to delete all the ones that overlap. Now, after looking at a real roof, I remember looking at this a while ago, you will actually get gaps here. Like you will get a rooftop with gaps like this. So I remember walking down my street going, huh? Cause I was like, it's not actually, I thought I was going to make it look terrible or whatever, but it's not actually as bad as you'd think. Because that is kind of like how rooftops already work. Well, this is like slightly off here. Can I bring it forward a tad or will it? Start clipping there. Get a look of clipping. So we can't. We have to have it just back enough so it doesn't clip. Um, oh, you know what? That's supposed to be underneath that anyway be like there which probably means that clips here oh interesting so do i need to pull it back more then like this yes i do brilliant i like how the word brilliant tends to mean at least in english like something's gone wrong like you're like oh brilliant <laughs> i haven't gone into light baking enough to know that output would be good to know eventually because it'll save so much time on texturing yeah um when you're doing realistic stuff you'll be surprised how much light baking will actually do for you 
um, compared to like Marvel sets a good example. If you go Marvel set turn on GI and stuff, you will see so much um, actually getting made. But when you make a substance plate texture anyway, it should always export with some sort of AO map. I swear I just saw something get deleted over there. Am I blind? Apparently I am. So this is probably good enough. Ooh, he says. Uh, first of all, I want to squeeze these in just a tad. It will warp the texture very slightly, but I don't think it's going to be enough to actually cause any real issues. So we just slightly do this and pull it to here. Same with you. Same with you. It is funny that even as adults, people sometimes need to be told to just be nice to one another. That's something we're taught as a kid. Something we should be doing already. You don't need to teach people this. This is something they should know. <laughs> but apparently they don't. Oh, wait. I messed up over there. Do you see that? I didn't grab fully. Um, the edges... I think one of my weirdest qualities as a person in general is if I don't speak to someone long enough, and it's usually only about a month, I'll start losing all connection, all like mental connection, all relationship connection I had with them mentally. Um, so if you ever want to be my friends, you've got to keep in, you got to message me at least once a month. Otherwise, you just disappear from my mind. It's very strange. <laughs> I never get, like, to be fair, this concept baffles me a lot, and it's probably because of this, but I don't know how people can see a friend five years later, but like, yeah, he's my best mate. What? Have you spoken once in that time? No. Like, how is that your best mate? You've not spoken to him in five years. Like, who could be an entirely different person now? <laughs> I haven't gone into, like, uh, what's that? Nothing weird about that. I got that after a week. Oh, really? Okay, I'm not too bad then. But yeah, whenever people say a long time they haven't spoken to someone, they consider them still their best friend. I'm like, if he was your best mate, wouldn't he try to keep it a relatively consistent like contact with you i know people have busy lives and i've said this a million times you you can have a busy life i used to work stupid hours sometimes when i worked at littles but you can always find time for either the things you want or the people you want you can find that time if you do not find that time that's because you have con like i made a conscious effort not to yes we all get very busy but if you push hard enough you can find the time um and I, I truly believe that. There was actually a TV show that talked about that. I can't remember what it was. Um, was it Home Improvement? But I thoroughly agree with that. I do think it doesn't matter how old you get. It doesn't matter, you know, if you've got a family now or something. If you want to spend time with your friends, if you want to put the effort in, there's always time. when my mates are watching right now like oh is this a dig at me steve <laughs> no i'm not saying you have to i'm just saying that is time what exceptions though i have a mate in the army and he goes yeah 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 that's different though but we connect on so many levels that i'd consider him a best mate after six years but that's because he goes away and he, he can't really contact you right I like how I said there's always time. In cases like that, there's obviously not time. What I'm referring to is when someone works a 40-hour week job and then doesn't contact you for a year and he says, oh, you know, I haven't had the time. I'm like, well, is that true? I just closed my chat by accident there, yeah. I feel like I've made a lot of looping points here. Uh, with home. That actually work with each other. Because obviously before I said, if you don't want to spend time on you don't have to. Then I've said, you can find the time if you want to. They don't clash. They are completely fine. 
because if your friend isn't like if you don't want to spend time with him and you want to do other stuff that's absolutely fine I think it's more when people make up the excuses that there's no time. That's when it becomes like, oh, well. Oh, wait, did I make a center point for this? I did. That's, oh, I don't need to take the breaks box if I had one. At that point, if you're not deemed uh, relevant enough to be squeezed into someone's tight schedule, then why would you want to be relevant when that person is bored? Yeah, exactly, right? I will try to be there for people whether or not they treat me like that anyway, just because I've always said, it's like when my mate Jake used to, uh, I actually used his real name, he's been on stream before. I remember I mentioned it before, I was like, if someone tries to speak to me, I'll try my best never to ignore them, because I don't know if they need someone to talk to. Um, I don't know if they need me there at that specific time. Whether or not they've ignored me when I've messaged them, if they message me, they might need me and I might need to be there. Um, I don't want to have the chance where I'll ignore them and that's the time that they needed someone to talk to, you know what I mean? So I contradict myself a little bit because I still would put myself out to be there for these people if they truly need uh, like because I just feel like they might need me. Um, so yeah. If someone hasn't contacted me in like uh, about a month um because like i said if it's over a month i sort of lose all my emotional connection but if they haven't contacted me a month then they randomly contact me i have a feeling they might just need someone to talk to so i'll try to be there Like I said, we'll talk about serious stuff today for some reason. All right, we'll talk about random serious stuff. All right, so we should be able to just plug, plug that onto the right thing. But it doesn't actually look that much different. It's just got like a little bit extra detailing to make it look a bit more unique. And then we can paint our... This looks relatively shiny. I still think it looks quite good though. Not Nothing special. I know it's not like anything special, but... If I wanted something special, I'd probably go into Substance Designer and make a really cool roof material. Um, but we're trying to do this fast. And this was the fastest way I could think of. That's pretty neat. Fill. Mm, swap. Fill. Swap. Lower that. Little bit of that. Um, see, I could just do this, but I think I want a shadow that touches that. Like where, wherever anything's going to rem like even remotely touch something, I think I want a tiny bit of shading. I am usually a pretty distant person, but very caring to, uh, to my circle. If they need my time, I expect them to tell me, and I'll always make time. I can't just uh, smell or predict it. I've weirdly been told I'm good at determining when uh, someone needs, obviously, someone to talk to. I don't think I am at all. Uh, I like speaking to people. I'm a very socially dependent person. I just like spending time with others. And I think sometimes, just because I'm simply spending time with somebody, uh, they think, you know, like, oh, you was able to detect that I was like depressed. I'm like, was I? I just was. I just wanted someone to talk to. Uh, <laughs> Some of the stuff I talk about with some of my friends, the way I emotionally feel about saying things. Uh, I'm quite an emotionally distant person and I don't always feel a lot. And when I was talking to some people, they were like telling me that that's like really big signs of depression and stuff. But I just don't see it that way. Uh, being able to distant my emotions and not feel too bad about certain things. Not f like like when my, when, my, when my dog passed away, lady, um, she was... A bundle of joy. She was in my life for 14 years, almost 15. And um, 
it's that one. Maybe you're very uh, empathetic. Yeah. That's the most... Wait. Uh, yeah, maybe I am. Which is funny, because I'm now talking about not feeling emotions myself. And I was like, yeah, when my, when my pet dog passed away, uh, what, six months ago now? Eight months ago? My parents leaned into my room. They were they were apparently bawling in the... Um, bawling itself like they're partying as they like they were crying um in the kitchen and they beat it to my room i saw i saw my dog off that day as well uh, she wouldn't even look at me i was like ah, um but she went to the um went to the vet she didn't come back because she got put down they didn't know she was going to get put down that day but the vet said it was what was best and my parents beat into my room or my mom or dad did and they told me that lady had been put down and i just continued with work and i still didn't particularly feel sad about it and I've never been someone who's felt sad about that kind of stuff. It just doesn't really affect me on an emotional level. Um, but I don't think that I don't think that means anything's wrong with me. But I know some people who would consider that a a very bad thing. You can be an emotional, stable, grown person, not be uh, that easy yourself, and still have a great sense of empathy. Okay. Yeah. I do think about Lady sometimes. In fact, I think I had a dream uh, with her in it. Uh, she was a bundle of joy. She was a very... Like, I couldn't have asked for a better dog. Like, it, 14, it was a good 14 years, man. Um, obviously, didn't see her the whole time because I was in university and stuff. But she was... She was the best. I kind of want these corners to be less like they are. Like, I want it to be more sharper at the corner instead of, like, curved like I've got it. Oh, wait, I'm paying on there. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Now we've got some basic roof tiling. And it also means it can bake, because before it wasn't baking, so we might get some really nice detailing on that. So we've got these holes here, I think that's fine. Like, so I actually saw roofs that were like that. Because I did think, how did they get the tiling, did they cut the tiling in half and place it? But no, I literally saw roofs uh, when I was making this scene ages ago, and I was like, oh, the roofs actually do just... Now I've told that, this is incorrect, this technically needs to be swapped, but I really can't bother, same with this one, I really can't bother to do that for now. Got the rope here with the huge nail in the wall. I need to really throw things in these boxes. Oh yeah, we, we have our old weapons and stuff in here. I don't want any actual weapon weapons in this scene. I don't mind having like hammers and stuff, but I don't want any swords or anything. The person's an adventurer, not a... Uh, not a pirate or anything, so I want... I want it to feel that way. So having stuff like this, like a shield is fine. Well, I personally think. Real life infrastructure that would just be filled up and sealed off with zinc usually anyways. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I actually have no idea how really roofing works, to be honest. That's probably enough. We just like want little bits, little bits. We've even got like these over here, which sort of, sort of makeshift planks. What about we delete that one? They don't look too perfect, but I think they look good enough. Is that, not the, that should be the same colour as that, right? Am I going mad? Oh, wait. Are they not baked, actually? Is it the same colour over here? No. What colour is this working with? This is that colour. Sorry, I've got some of this on the other one. This is this colour. So if I do this... There you go. Is this being used for anything else, though? I don't think so. Because that now that should when the lights bait slot should match it even closer. 
get me tiled. Which way am I tiling it right now? Wrong way. You obviously should be tiled to the point where you get those lines. I don't want them on the edge. It's got to be like that. So it's got to be like 2.25. 2.29. 2.33. 2.34. 2.35. Anyone in chat playing, uh, or have been playing Elden Ring at all? I must know. Desaturation on it. No? Have you been playing with some of the new UE4 stuff yet? Yeah, if you're actually looking at a really old video, I, I, I was messing around with UE5 like, what, six months ago? UE5. Uh, nine months ago, I was messing around with UE5 like nine months ago. The thumbnail was really stupid. I post it in chat as a picture. I really don't know how any of this works. I like how you heard me take a picture of it. I just realized that. Can I... Wait. Can I send the Yazoo link? To be fair, I could have probably got your better thumbnail than this. It's quite a small one. There you go. Okay. That matched the floor pretty well. Every time I look at this scene, I can't tell if I like the lighting or not. Okay. Oh, I haven't baked this scene yet. I was going to say, this is a bit too bright, but I haven't baked it yet. This scene's... Uh, did you see the other day me showing off why I, I like this scene so much? If we actually look in here... Again, the scene's a little too bright right now, but then if we go to directional lighting, you can turn this one up. And I love that. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, this, this scene's too bright. That was much more subtle before, but yeah, hopefully when I bake, we'll get some nice results. Not so baked. Streaming for almost two hours. I'll probably keep it only to two hours today, to be fair. Yep, could have been me. <laughs> oh, be a stretch. Oh. As I've always said, if you guys um, also aren't enjoying me talking about more serious topics and stuff like that, just say, and I'll obviously just talk about doing 3D and whatnot. Um, I just find to work that kind of stuff fascinating. Looks pretty good here. Uh, have I got any decals on here? No, I don't. Let's grab some decals. Say where's it she right now, but oh. this is not the right decal. I think art and people are fascinating because they tie in each other a lot. So I get sidetracked by any topic. I get sidetracked by topics all the time. Um I just love talking. I have friends who hate small talk and I sit there like, mate, small talk's great. Like, I just love talking about crap. Uh, I remember one of the times me and my mate Paz, I think I feel like I could say his nickname because you guys will have no idea who he is from that. Um, I remember when I was in the pub and Paz was getting drunk, as as Paz did. And I was drinking as well, but I don't really get drunk. And uh, I remember we were talking about, like... We did about space and stuff. And I said... And we, we didn't have our phone. Well, we might have had our phones, but we didn't look at it. Uh, and I was like, can sound travel 
in a nebula because sound can't travel in space because it's got nothing to jump between atom to atom. However, in a nebula, it's a gas cloud in space. So it can sound theoretically travel through a nebula in space. We were talking about this when drunk. <laughs> And I think that's hilarious. That does change colour a little bit, but I think it's quite what we want. Again, a lot of this is just to subtleness. Oh, that's part of the lighting. Yeah, that's probably good. There's some dirt build up. See, problem is we've got all of this here. Like, there's nothing interesting really over here. Like, we could grab our cobweb. Pretty much have him duplicate over here. That would give a little bit more interest. I could put a lantern up here. definitely feel like something needs to be here I mean the light is not baked yet but this corner just looks really basic right now I mean there doesn't need to be something interesting in every part of the room but maybe I need a second shelf or you know what maybe we need a slanted shelf Yeah, that's more interesting. Maybe all the shelves need to be a tad slanted. Even if it's like just by a little bit, just like a tad. That shelf last. Same in the bedroom up here, because we have them perfectly straight. But admittedly, with Starlight, you tend to have everything. To be fair, in real life, nothing's perfectly 90 degrees. I mean, it does curve, in, it does burn in the middle anyway. But, um, but I feel like it has slight. Oh wow, look at the lighting change because it's not baked. Well, simply by selecting that foliage ejector, which I don't actually need to move anyway, it became unbaked. Yeah, the difference in baked is insane though. Like, look at that, and then look at that change. This scene is very important when it comes to being baked. Gas cloud, if your neighbors can hear it, I am pretty sure the sound traveled. See, is the word difference too drastic? Because this matches this one more, but in our interior words, a bit different in color uh, maybe that means i should be replicating the exterior wood more but equally this looks fine but this is dark next the floor i wanted darker i wanted the floor to be darker wood i didn't want all the wood to match in color because that would look too samey it's just because this is connected and technically the floor here it looks a bit odd but i think making it darker will make it Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Is it bit uh, built? It is. The lighting is built on it. Really? Why didn't it undo? <sighs> I moved it. Wait, did I move it or did that undo? No, because that's hanging off the edge. 
there's a stick there. Maybe it did undo it, I'm just imagining things. Uh, yeah, I think that actually doesn't look too bad, a bit darker. Yeah. And that should look a bit better on the transition here. Maybe make the color a little bit more matching. Like that. Oh, no. See, still different. See, i got to try to match up two separate things. It's the problem. To make it a tiny bit. Make it a tiny bit darker again. The only problem is the double matching. And the sun's also hitting this, which also makes it a bit brighter. Okay, okay. So what is it textured still? Have we textured everything now? We've got a load of bamboo down here. Is this baked? Oh, it is. Yeah, it looks very nice. Got all this out here. Uh, you know what? We're going to have a bit more bundles of planks. I think the plank bundles are a very good filler. They might actually select them all. Then get, oops. Select them all. I have this as our last one. And then go merge actors and have it as a separate actor. Merge actor. Go into environment, props. A pile of planks. Oh, I should. Damn it. Why did it do it from the top one? I should have been able to drag it from the top. But it didn't work. Maybe I'll do this, this. Because there's three at the bottom. As long as one, as long as the origin point. Oh, no, it doesn't. Because the origin point of this is slower. Well, that's actually not placed properly anyway. There you go. Um, okay. Well, that's fine then. I will just merge it and have it the way I had it. SM pile of planks. Yeah, just spat everywhere. Have you guys ever like opened <laughs> this could sound horrible? Have you guys ever opened your mouth and you've like like saliva has just shot out of I guess the saliva glands like you're a freaking snake, like you just shot venom, like you go and it's like Pfft. I've got to speak before I should go <laughs> like and I don't mean like when you spit a little bit, I mean like like shooting out like venom. Venom. Oh, so we still got quite a few things that we need to um but over to our prop folder. Excuse me. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's also interesting. Why is this so dark? Also, why is this also not got shadowing at the bottom at all? Is this baked? Yeah, it's baked. You tell when I go to move it, it changes. Hmm. Looks fine here, but it definitely doesn't look right here. But that looks so dark. Oh, also the tiling's insane. What the heck? Uh, what if instead of keeping those in... Delete these out. <laughs> it's not even drooling though. I'm, I'm proper like saying I it shot out like freaking but like a snake's venom. Like it was. I remember being like, "What the heck?" It's happened a couple of times in my life in general. So I'll do something like this, then I'll just extend it. And we want it to sit inside like this. That's better already. You can tell by the color that looks better. But it does still look darker over here though. I wonder if it's just, I mean, this isn't baked actually. So we've got to take that into consideration. Is there one up here too? Technically you should put one up here too.
there is this a mesh oh that's part of the mesh right i feel like a lot of this building this is actually some advice for you guys we can make it i feel like a lot of this building probably should be made up not in blender i should probably put it together in ue4 um because then each plank would have been built as a separate mesh with the way we've got it in here i've made this one large mesh which means if i delete it look, which means a lot of the light mapping and stuff um gets a little bit interesting like the quality like if you oh uh, if you look inside and you look at some of the lighting you'll see so here's fine oh here you'll see like here this is like overly lit see that it's as if it's being hit by light but it shouldn't be but it's because on the outside it is a way to fix this could have been making this wall thicker but i don't necessarily think maybe making it two-sided would help actually it might help block that light more and make the uh light map make more sense so now i'm gonna go in between here which is see two walls well that will come through as black apparently but yeah we, we do see two walls so i wonder if that will help a better uh, have a better effect when it's baking i will do a bake after stream and then i'll show it in chat like i always do i don't think we've really added much though so i don't really know what to show uh what was i actually doing i lost red four that's so dark i was doing this yeah look how dark he's coming out now what the heck? oh he does look dark on here actually if we do a uh duplicate so let's you you oh well so let's you you wait which one was the duplicate it was that one coming to here and we switch you coming to here and we replicate the color that this has which is apparently just white okay coming to here yeah again they're not built yet uh, so hopefully that'll be fine too so it gives you this nice little back here hopefully when that's baked will look good i will give it uh oh, it's got 256 resolution that's fine i wonder what poly count looks like sorry i was just looking at something uh boom see when we come into here everything looks relatively flat like look, you've got some extra detailing on here that doesn't need to be here but like when the whole thing's like a turquoise or whatever color that is blue block you'd be like whoa but when it's like when you're like this so it just sort of looks like a block but when you can see through it when you're flying through that's pretty relatively low res hmm, okay i am gonna do a bake which means i'm going to end the stream because i don't want to sit here with you guys staring at me for 20 minutes while i do a bake so i hope you guys enjoyed the stream um i actually don't know if letterborn left uh <laughs> I, I hope she did. I hope she had a good time. She's still, and I hope she is still having a good time. She's still here. Uh, thank you for joining today. As an artist in the 3D scene, what's your take? Oh, we were taking NFTs into the game industry. Are they taking into the games industry? I've really not looked into it. I think NFTs in general are pretty weird. The concept of them, when I originally heard about them, sounded like they made sense. It sounded like it was an interesting way for artists to make some extra money on their work because they could sell it as an independent NFT instead of set, instead of selling it to someone as like a freelance thing. But as it's taken off, it's like people have used it as money laundering. People have used it for um, ridiculous spending habits. Like they'll pay 10 grand for a weird monkey generated face thing. Um, I don't get it. it. It doesn't, my brain can't acknowledge why you would do that and why it should be worth something. At least with, because you bid on these different images right and they basically are represented by a code that is kind of like uh, the same way like a bitcoin except at least with bitcoins and stuff the currency is determined by each other you know like if you have one pound or one dollar if you're american in real life and someone else has one dollar that one dollar is still one dollar 
same with bitcoins if you have one bitcoin and someone else has one bitcoin it's still worth a bitcoin yeah if you have one nft that nft is represented by an image and it's depending on what that image is worth depends on how much the nft is worth right i feel like i'm getting that correct so i don't think it's a very it, i don't think it works very well if it was used for what i just said like artists just set a way to sell their work i think it would have been fine but it's clearly not been that way people have stolen other people's images uploaded them as nfts made money off it without any any um confirmation from the original person like it's just not being used in a way that i think is this is my take on nfts in general not even in the game industry i just don't think nfts have been taken in a way that is beneficial for really anybody it's not nice it's not like people would be taking other people's work they're just not working and the fact that people support them so heavily i find very strange but that's my take on it i've done a little bit of research and maybe i'm a bit undereducated on it and that's why i feel that way however from what i've researched and what i've heard and what i know about them they don't seem to make sense where they're going right now anyways i'm going to end the stream <laughs> um i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you next friday at 8 30 british standard time see you then <laughs>